All right, guys, so out here on the uh, Big Power Supply, Carl Bell 800 HD. This one is for Mr. Paul, who uh, has been patiently waiting. Haven't even heard a word out of this gentleman. He uh, did, did a trade with me. I don't remember exactly how we traded. I think he traded in like a RM Italy and some money and uh, got this 800 HD with Sideband. We're going to test it. I don't have the perfect radio to drive into it without hooking up a bunch of jumpers and drivers and stuff. So we're just going to do what we kind of usually do, test it with our Cobra 29 with the RFX 95 on the back. And I'm going to show you exactly how much this radio is doing uh, before we demo it going into this amp. So generally this amp can take, you know, 250 to 300 PEP. I think Carl's got on the back of it, maybe 275 or so. That's what you can usually put into these. We're not even going to be putting a fraction of that in, but the main thing we want to do is test the amp before it goes out. And some people kind of like to Cadillac these things like this and loaf them along. I have a lot of customers that'll buy one of these 800 HDs and what they'll end up doing is just running like a Stryker 955 into it, which will do a little bit more than this radio, but going to be in the same ballpark. So what we want to do first is test and see how much we're putting into it with this radio. We've just got a 500 watt slug out here right now. So we're going to be looking at the middle scale. And this is average power first. Yes, average power first. Hello. And we're not even hardly doing 50 watts, I don't believe. Middle scale. Hello. Audio, audio, audio. So maybe around 50 on that one. Probably a little bit less. And there's our dead key. Let's see, PEP. Audio one, two, three, audio one, two, three, audio one, two, three. Showing about 110 or so PEP going into it. So keep that in mind. We're putting less than half power, uh, what the amp requires going into it. So, you know, 40, 50 average, 110 PEP. That's kind of what we're working with here. And let's put our 2,500 watt slug in which now what we're going to be doing is looking at the top scale. So 20 is 2000 and that last mark past 20 all the way against the wall is going to be 2,500. And I don't expect us to get anywhere near that. You can hear the sideband delay kick in. Delay is working as it should. And let's get on with the show here and uh, wrap this thing up so we can get this thing uh, shipped out. So we have preset our dead key. So we should be looking I'm going to assume around 250 watts, hopefully, let's see. Yeah, so about 250 watt dead key, and then we'll just do uh, audio for average power. Hello, audio, audio, 500 watts average, right there where we would kind of expect with what we're putting into it, doing over 10 times what we're putting into it, and then a PEP. Hello, audio one, two, three, audio, audio, about 1200, 1250 PEP. So that's pretty damn good considering we're just loafing this guy along. Again, you can run it like this. It's not going to hurt it. But if you want the maximum output out of it, you know, somewhere between 200 and 300 watts. I mean, if you really think about it, Getting a pretty good amount of juice for the squeeze. I mean, we're putting 100 watts PEP in and we're getting 1,200 out. Let's say you double your power and you only get another five or 600 watts out. I mean, yes, that's the way the amp was intended to be ran with more power going into it. But again, you start getting diminishing returns as you increase the power. You know, the first 100 watts put into this thing is probably going to yield, excuse me, probably going to yield the most... Uh, the most gain, I guess you would say. And you start increasing from there. You know, if you put 150 in, uh, you may see 1,500 out. Then you put, you know, 200 in, you may only see 1,800 out, uh, you know, and what have you. So nice running amp. I've got another one of these to do a video on. Uh, the, the second one's not going to have sideband on it, but we're going to test it in the same fashion. Uh, this one does have bias and sideband. Generally, Carl's amps that are biased do just a little bit more power. They're a little bit easier to drive. So when we test the other one, I wouldn't be shocked to see it do a little bit less, but uh, expect it to be a nice running amp nonetheless. Coral built 800 HD standard 2879s with bias and sideband, just lightly driven. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Questions, comments, let me know. 
Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.